Good evening, Madame, Monsieur. Yes, tonight's program is an update on New Beat. I promised you that two days ago and yesterday night, so we have to keep our promises. Even the promise will be uh, fulfilled a bit bigger, because I only promised you Maurice Engelen. He's here on the left, black shirt. Hello. But he brought with him Chris Inger, Hello. which is a producer, and of course the infamous Dirty Harry, which we have seen in a program on MTV about New Beat a couple of months ago. Um, no New Beat videos yet, but they brought a couple of them um, uh, with, with them, and we're going to sh sh show them sh sh next week. How is New Beat going? I mean, it's been in the hit parades in Belgium. How are the other countries reacting? Yes, uh, what nobody expected uh, is happening at the moment. So uh, there are uh, New Beat records in the charts in Holland, mm -hmm. in uh, France, and so also in Germany it starts with... It's a mix, a BCM mix. It, uh, they mm -hmm. put together all the best tracks. They're in the charts at the moment, and everybody's putting out uh, compilations now. Yeah. All major companies, except the Belgian ones. Except the Belgian ones? Yes. It's still, it's still a big discussion. We had two uh, young people from Belgium in uh, two days ago who won a competition to come to London, etc. So and I asked them again, what do you think about New Beat? One of them was completely for it, and the other one was, oh, no, I hate it, I hate it. Is still that discussion going on in Belgium? It's still that discussion People hating going it on. and liking it? Yes, but uh, uh, New Beat received a lot of press at the end of, of the year, mm -hmm. and now, uh, let's say, there are already 50% more New Beat fans at the moment than there were uh, in December. Yeah. <laughs> are more clubs playing it now? I mean, in London it's also starting that people have a New Beat evening, or at least a couple of hours of New Beat music mm -hmm. in a discotheque. Is there more clubs in Belgium playing the music? Yes, in Belgium every club is playing the music, because if there's a club which plays New Beat music, then mm -hmm. the club is, is filled up. and. That's, uh, of course, what they're try to, to, trying to do. Okay, let's try to find out more about the future of New Beat. Chris, you are a producer of New Beat Records. Uh, what those two young people said, well, uh, two days ago, oh, it's quite easy done, isn't it? Do you think it like that? Because it comes out with a kilo almost. I mean, uh, every week I get like 10 new records. Yeah. Every day sometimes. It's not, a, not as easy as it likes, because you have to find gimmicks and uh, mm -hmm. good rhythms. So. Uh, Sometimes it takes uh, a couple of days to find one. Yeah, it's not... People think, well, I can do that in an hour. That's they not can, the case. They can try. <laughs> uh -huh. It's also... It looks to me that it's going to be... A divi division even in New Beat. You have a, there are a couple of records out saying this is not commercial New Beat. You have like a softer genre and a, a harder, more subversive genre. Is that true? Yeah. Well, there's even a new uh, kind of music coming out now. Hard Beat. Uh -huh. And it's very hard. It's... Uh, the same uh, rhythm as the new beat, but uh, the instruments are very... He doesn't give me credit. <laughs> you invented that? Yes, I did. You are, you are the... This is Dirty Harry, by the way, which you have seen on MTV before. <laughs> How are you doing, by the way? Uh, very good, thank you. Very good, thank you. Uh, well, one of your songs is on that Take One compilation. That sold quite a lot of copies. How many? Yes. Uh, I don't know how many, but a lot. I know that. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's because my, my song was on it. <laughs> yeah, of course, yes. In Belgium, over 50,000. Uh -huh. That's a lot of records. What are you doing at the moment? Are you going to release uh, more solo stuff? Did you do already? Yes, I, I did a new single, mm -hmm. and I was busy producing other artists as mm -hmm. well. But uh, my new one is coming, and it's going to be a big hit. A big hit. <laughs> did you invent more dances? Because you, you showed us a dance which went like this. I, no, went like that. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Here's the windscreen <laughs> wipers. You uh, invent more of that, that no, stuff? No, I, had, I didn't have time. I was too busy creating my own music. Uh -huh. But you're performing also quite a lot. And there are yeah. new beat packages on the road throughout Europe, you told me. Yes, uh, there's the Chaos Tour. Mm -hmm. So it's um, Miss Nikki Tracks, which has a great article in uh -huh. Melody Maker this week. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, there's 101 with Rock to the Beat, uh, there's Lords of Acid, mm -hmm. which is a, a club hit in London at the moment, Major Problem with Acid mm -hmm. Queen, also known, and there's Boy Toy, a new uh, yeah, female heard, yeah, singer. Yeah. Yeah. And they all perform then uh, yes, on stage they're going one evening? on tour and they all do uh, one song. And yeah. uh, it's, it's a success for you because uh, they, there's always a lot of people because we just um, came back from France this weekend mm -hmm. and we had uh, from five to six thousand people yeah. see the show. One also, uh, one thing that I also uh, noticed quite a lot, a lot of the songs are very, um, well, the least thing to say is obscene. A lot of sexual remarks in it, to put it quite slightly. Why is that? Is it exciting then? <laughs> to just say, I want to suck your boot or whatever. I mean, in every record, this is some <laughs> kind of sexual remark. 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you make you made you made a couple of those records. Yeah, that's true. Why I don't know. Because let's, let's say we want <laughs> we want to keep the spirit in it. The spirit. Yes. <laughs> keep the spirit in the records. Yes. It's quite perverted spirit. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> but the English journalists they say yes. Um, the acid, they, it has the drugs, and mm -hmm. the new beat has the sex. So I prefer the sex before the drugs. Yeah, that's true. I can yeah. come into that. I can come all over that. Uh, what can we see your shirt there? That's a new beat fashion. It's going to be very special. Completely sell out. It's nice though. This is uh, what I call new beat fashion. It's from Young Designers from Antwerp. Yes, uh, this is from Young Designers from the Fashion Academy mm -hmm. in Antwerp. And uh, there's the first collection. It came out on Saturday. Yeah. 16 different. Uh, a uh, piece of clothing, yeah. and uh, it's going very, very good. It's distributed in Belgium, national, nationwide. And yeah. it's, it's very expensive. macabre, though. Is this? This looks like pictures you see on a on a graveyard, on on tombstones. Yes, but in Belgium they they wear um, the pictures like like they do, for instance, in, in Britain with wearing this the smileys. Ah. Yes. Are these people dead or are they they're still alive? No, they're still alive. Yeah. Is this some, something on their back also? Is this just on no, the sleeves? No, no. Like, <laughs> alive. Yeah. You will, you want to wear that one of those? You look you look quite that, uh, hip that, today. They, they, they don't have big sizes, so I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you called by the way, Dirty Harry? Why are you dirty? I don't know. Harry? Somebody told me I should, uh, should should use that name, uh -huh. and and I don't think for myself. So I said yes, and that's why I. I'm called Dirty Harry. You, uh, you never think for yourself. No. Why are you called Marcel van Tilt? Well, that's in my passport. Does it say in your passport, Dirty, dirty Harry? No, it doesn't. You're <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. New Beat has a past, certainly in Belgium, for a year now. It's been very successful. It's happening in other countries too. What is the future of New Beat, you think? Yes, um, at the moment all, all major acts are signed by companies all over the world. Mm -hmm. um, they all did that before the medium. Yeah. So, to have the bands already before that medium came, and now uh, there's going to be releases all over Europe and America, so I think that it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so we have, uh, for instance, uh, most of the Chaos records are already signed uh, by Atlantic Records. Mm -hmm. all, well, Which is one of the major yeah. dance and black music uh, mm -hmm. record labels in the States. And in Belgium uh, it's really a, uh, an explosion because it takes three albums, it mm -hmm. was already gold, golden record before it came out. Before it was made. Yeah, yeah. And you're still working on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should bring out a record with nothing on it. Maybe yeah. even that will sell. <laughs> so the future looks very bright. Yes. yes sure sure about it? Yes, yeah. yes, it does. Okay. You, are, you're, you came to London also not only to do this interview, you came here to do business. Yeah. What, are you planning to conquer Great Britain also? Yes, uh, the whole uh, press is already on the new beat uh, mm -hmm. phenomenon. But uh, so we were here for a business trip. So this, uh, let's say, this interview is really Just a there. surprise for us. Yeah. yeah. And is it going good? Are people really signing up uh, Belgian new beat records? Yes, but they're all trying to to make compilations at the moment. So oh, yeah. uh, it sells better the compilation. People get them 12 tracks. Yeah. Yes. Instead of a 12 inch. But I think it's it's the begin uh, beginning of uh, new beat uh, everywhere. 19s, nine, the 90s will be new beat age. Yes, will be electronic dance music age. <laughs> okay, that's good. Let's dance to that in the 90s. Thanks a lot for coming to the studio. Lots okay. of success with the doing business in London. Next program on MTV is Your Scene with a full hour of independent records in Away from the Pulse Beat. I'll be back tomorrow afternoon at half past three with more phone numbers for the AIDS European Week. See you then. Good night. <laughs>